What is going on guys, Warrior Lakegi here, uh, bringing at you a first look into the new update for Grand Theft Auto 5. Um, I believe it make is some the deal? import export update. Um, so let's get right into it here. Um, as you can see I'm inside of my CEO building. Um, this update is supposed to be an expansion to the uh, CEO stuff that you do. Um, so we're going to go over here to the terminal, basically your computer inside of your CEO building. You're going to wait, press A whenever it becomes available, you're going to log in. Okay, you logged on? Then you're going to see the this homepage should be showing you here. three options. Um, you have vehicle special cargo, cargo, special cargo, vehicle cargo, and special vehicle work. Uh, Special, special cargoes work. as it was before. The standard Securo Serve contraband system. Vehicle cargoes, their new offering. Uh, garages, you purchase you a vehicle warehouse, then Securo Serve puts you onto different cars in the area to source. Um, Once you source the cars, do this is, uh, you warehouse them and sell them onto a first time I'm doing this, so it'll be the first time. Special vehicle. You know, everybody's kind of doing this. We just These got this update last night. Have planned and prepared for um, Using state of the so this one right vehicles. here is going to be your they cheapest option. From what I can see, they all have the so same amount of garage slots. Um, and then vehicle from what cargo. I understand is okay. you cannot you store your own personal vehicles in these. The I know cars. some people were thinking, oh, cool, we're going to get these massive garages and this and that and everything else. From what I understand from hearing from other people and seeing on Facebook and everything else, you cannot do that. So don't expect to be able to store all these cars into your garage because it's not going to happen. So what we're going to do, since we're cheap and we don't have a lot of money, we're going to buy the cheapest one. Um, not going to go out and buy the most expensive thing because it's just kind of pointless. They all have the same amount of slots from what I can see. They all have 40. Now I do know at some point there was supposed to be 60. I don't know exactly what happened to that. But like I said, this is a first look into it. So we're going to purchase this. Um, we're just going to go with the basic, I think, here. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't really see a point in the whole thing and everything. Maybe at some point, you know, people will know more about this and we can get the more expensive one or whatnot, you know, whatever needs to be done. But for now, we're just going to go with the cheapest one. And we're going to confirm. Okay, you've got some space. Now you can now move we have cargo. Purchased it, and now we have a real big vehicle. sad face for and our we'll bank. Search the system for an appropriate car. All right. After that, the details will see, come so text. just like that we would for a regular CEO you stuff, you're going to have to click on the this. Be on the lookout for here. rival organizations trying to hijack your vehicle. We're going to have to source your vehicle. You can intercept organizations moving that. cars too. We going to have a good week, boss? Come out here. I'm not too sure exactly what just happened. Is I'm getting no sound in my headset, so just bear with me here. Just Hi one there. second. What can I do for you? You're looking good. Really. All right, there we go. We're back at it. Bye. It's kind of weird, awkward. All right, so. because we just have to spawn in a helicopter. Um, currently don't have a helicopter purchase because like I said, I'm cheap, don't have a lot of money. I know some people have tons and tons of money that they can just throw into this game. So, We've got a problem. This car is about to be used in a stunt in a movie. They're likely to trash it. So sneak on set, take the car, and take the jump yourself. All right, so apparently we're going to sneak on the set before they destroy this car. Now one thing I want to touch base on here is something that I didn't know about. Um, just found out a couple days ago actually. Instead of going through your assistant and basically renting a helicopter every single time for $1,500, you can go in and Now, 
Now the difference is between this and between actually putting one of that on one, you can destroy it and everything else. And once it takes so much damage, you can still drive it around. The only casual is that once it takes so much damage, they take it back. And then you mount on it and stuff like that. So, just click that. I was sitting there for a while wasting my money on it. And, yeah, what's the point of wasting money? I don't really need to. So these my flying skills. They're probably not the best as a lot of um, I'm actually just kind of getting the Grand Theft Auto back into Grand Theft Auto um, after not playing it for a while. Um, just the, the glitchiness with the servers and everything else always kind of frustrates looks like our vehicle. Whatsoever. Uh, like I said, it's the it's my first look into it, so at the same time, I'm your guys' first look into it, um, which is cool. I'm okay with that. Um, and also, if anybody's got any tips or pointers or anything like that, you know, on, on things that can be done, um, I'm an asshole. Alright, let's go. I have to kill these guys. I don't really want to kill anybody, but. Whatever, it's gonna happen. Not sure where this guy is. Uh, she, she was just collateral. Sorry about that, I was trying to figure out exactly what I needed to do there. Oh. Uh, we made a wrong turn, so that's okay. Let's go this way. We're gonna call Lester because he's our buddy and, you know, Lester's always coming through. Um, it's, it's totally worth it, guys. 600 bucks, you can get the cops off you, no big deal. What do you need exactly? Plus, we're taking so okay, much damage. Okay, I'll um, get you out of trouble. Unwanted no damage at that. Helicopter shooting at us, which is not cool at all. So we're gonna kind of try to haul ass here and get away from it. Um, oh, don't hit anything. Yeah. So uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, I know it's not the best, but uh. Definitely a look into what what exactly is going to happen here with when you purchase this. I know a lot of times you know people say, "Oh, you need to buy it," but nobody really uh, explains what you need to do exactly, um, and it ends up being like a waste of money and this and that and everything else. And we don't want that. You know, it's 1.5 million dollars. I mean, come on, let's not let's not waste too much money. And I keep making the wrong turns here. Um, it's unfortunate. But that's okay. Don't mind cruising through the city. And I am off today. Oh, Lord. Alright, so they killed us um, once again. Totally unprepared.
Yeah, low, low key, we're totally struggling right now. No big deal, I'm not worried about it. I do use aim assist. Uh, I know a lot of people like to use free or whatnot, you know, don't hate. No, uh, no Grand Theft Auto expert by all means. Totally being a scrub and not using snacks like I should be. Snacks are your friends, guys. Especially you're doing heists and stuff like that. Nothing's more disappointing than when uh, you get into a group of guys and somebody goes, Oh, I don't have any snacks or I don't have any body armor. Always be prepared. Um, nobody likes a guy that holds up the group. You know, um, or ends up losing because of whatever reason. Uh, no. And I'm sure there's some some easier way to do this, I guess, where you're not getting chased by guys and everything. I'm not sure. I guess we'll we'll figure out more information to it. Um, as you can see down on the bottom there, we have a repair cost, so we're trying to minimize the damage. But I'm not doing a very good job at that. So it is what it is. You know, it's the like I said, it's my first look into it. Is uh, for probably for a lot of you guys here. This will be our garage over here, I guess. Right in here. And I, hopefully we're safe. We've got one deliver, delivered vehicle to our warehouse, and we'll get to check it out here. See what we got going on. Um. Oh, it's the boss. Okay. Here's our like I was saying before, guys, uh, if you don't mind dropping a like, it always helps out. Um, shows me that you guys enjoy the video and continue to make more about different stuff and things here in Grand Theft Auto. I'll try to be uh, making more, more videos about different stuff and tips and everything else. When you access the website from the laptop on the desk, you'll see your current stock of cars and be able to select how many you want to offload and to who. The amount you can sell at any one time is dependent on how many associates you've got on hand. If we want to chase the bigger commissions, we're going to need to modify the cars to the bigger buyer specifications. Remove trackers, change paint jobs, rims, apply other mods. Different buyers got different requirements. The mechanic's on site to handle all that. It's an independent operator, so it costs to repair stolen cars that come in damaged, and to do the mods. But believe me, it makes life easy. And you see the door over there? That'll take you all the way down to the underground facility. You renovated down there, so there's somewhere to store any of those big, unwieldy, modified vehicles off the Warstock site. Only place to accommodate anything from a huge phantom wedge to an amphibious Blazer Aqua. And that's it. We should get to work. The more vehicle cargo we move, the more of an interest Securo Serve's gonna take in the company. We steal enough cars, they'll throw us some special vehicle work. Come by the office when you want to source that next car. See you, boss. Alrighty, guys. So we are back. Um, we've got, obviously, like you've heard, and uh, from the, the assistant talking there, um, we are at our garage now. Um, from what I got out of it was that, um, basically, these vehicles that you steal, as you can see, this is the vehicle that we stole. It gets repaired when you bring it here. So, I mean, technically, it's not a big deal, but the problem is, is the repairs come out of your pocket. Oh, Lester keeps calling. It's driving me nuts. Um, so basically, the cars come in here, they get repaired, and then there's certain buyers that you need to upgrade and change these vehicles to specs for, for different buyers for different amounts of money and whatnot. Um, we're going to come over here into the garage-ish kind of area. It looks like our office, maybe. Helps if we go through the right door. Let's see. Come in here. We gotta check out the computer and see what exactly is going on with this. Um, guys always gotta get comfortable in the chair, you know, you know how it goes. Okay, boss, you wanna sell something? You're in the right place. We log everything that comes in on the site so you can see what we got in the warehouse. Select a vehicle, and it goes up on the export list at the top of the page. You can sell up to four vehicles at a time if you've got the drivers here in the warehouse. When the cars you want to sell are selected, confirm, and the system will search available buyers. 
Alright. So like he said, we're going to uh you're supposed to have four people myself. I'm not gonna go into exactly how you go about doing that. I know that's a big big thing that people try to do when they're doing stuff like this is uh you wanna get into a game by yourself, but I'm not gonna go into exactly how you do that or anything like that. Um, so we're gonna, since we're by ourselves, we're gonna ex export this one car. Um, so yeah, got that right there. I'm not sure exactly how much we're gonna get out of this. There you go. We got three buyers. Pick who you like, but you should know that the bigger deal's got strings attached. They're gonna want you to do modifications up front. If you damage the car or lose it on the way to the sale, the money's gone. I'll do the modifications in-house, charge you a flat fee. It makes life simple for you and hard for me, but what else would you expect, right boss? Make a call and we'll get on with it. Alright, so we are going to... Hmm. Let's see here. We're just going to go... We're going to go out with it because, you know, $100,000 sounds pretty nice. So, we're going to pay, as you can see, 20000 to upgrade the vehicle. Um, and then supposed to get a hundred thousand on delivery okay let's get this ready buyer wants certain elements changed doesn't mind so much what they're changed to and I've already quoted you a price select the mods they want stage by stage and then hit complete when it's good work will be done on the spot sometimes you'll have to wait on other drivers being choosy but you won't wait long All right, so we're gonna go with that change up the paint job so we're gonna change it uh, let's see what color do we go with I'm thinking no nah, you know this is a this is a nice car we're gonna go with a metallic type color I really like the red and the white how it was but you know we'll keep it somewhat close we're gonna go with that I think that's How close we are to that's kind of kind of awkward. Okay, then we're gonna go with another. Um, oh, you know what? That's it's a weird but interesting kind of look, and I kind of like it. It's different. It goes it goes good with the red calipers and stuff like that. So I think we'll go with that one. I am paid well below my skill level. Performance mods are on the list. Now you got a specific timer down there too, so just be careful car. with that. Um, they don't like the body work. You don't want to walk away from the controller or something like that and end up losing. You know what you got going on here. Um, you know we'll go with carbon fiber just to match the side skirts. It looks like we might have to end up changing those, but you know. It is what it is. Um, fenders. I don't know why they would want to change those. Those, eh, they're kind of awkward looking, but okay. Yeah, we're we're not gonna go into changing that unless if we have to. I don't want to mess with the horns and all that stuff. Um, spoilers. We're gonna give this thing a ridiculous wing because why not? Go with super limo tints. Wouldn't recognize it. Wheels have got to go. And like he said before, um, we've already paid what needs to be paid towards this vehicle, so whatever we choose is basically free, as you can see. Um, I like these ones, super G. stick with black because why not we gotta throw some custom tires on it everybody likes those um, so yeah we're gonna accept that i don't know exactly how much modification you really need to put into these things 
from the looks of it, you can kind of just make it happy by just selecting it a little bit. A couple things here and there. It's all or nothing on this one. The work wasn't cheap. Get the car to the buyer clean. This should be a payday, people. Yeah, so as you can see, the global signal is going up like always. Um, oh, man, we got some company here. Don't want to get shot up. That is no good. I'm trying not to crash either. That's, that's always a very bad thing. So we're gonna try to drive as fast as we can, but as safe as we can. Not cut anything too close because we don't want to lose a lot of money here. So we're taking a lot of damage here. Uh, definitely don't want that. Now a lot of you guys may ask, you know, how, how do you get this money to be able to do this kind of stuff? Um, I know um, the big question that a lot of people have, you know, how, how do you get to this point? Um, I've actually kind of raised up enough money to do this in the past couple of days. I'm just playing on the regular grinding out some VIP work and stuff like that. I will be going into a video at some point here on uh, how we got to this point uh, with money wise and all that stuff. I know that's always a big thing. It's like, how the heck do you get money in this game? I mean, so we will uh, we'll be making a video at some point. Um, it should be released not too long after this one. I'm um, exactly explaining how the heck we do this? Oh man, it's, that's unfortunate. So I mean, we've taken a decent little bit of damage on this car, but so far we haven't lost a real ton of money. We've only lost about 3,000 off of the ticket price. Um, which, I mean, unfo it's unfortunate, but I, I can live with it. Um, $3,000, isn't it? see there um, it explains to you what exactly you lost and how much you gained and everything else um, which is really nice because it goes right into our bank account um, you don't have to go through and do any of that well done out there the money's in the bank yeah so uh, basically that's just how it goes um, we kind of walked through how you buy the uh, warehouse how you get that started and everything else obviously you need to have your CEO business going before you can actually purchase that um, so yeah that's that's a wrap for it um, just keep gaming on guys and uh, we'll get back at you later peace